हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड पीरियोडिक नॉइस रिडक्शन यूजिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन फिल्टरिंग फ्रॉम आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी अंडरस्टूड दैट द पीरियोडिक नॉइस इज द नॉइस दैट इज एडेड टू द इमेज ड्यू टू इलेक्ट्रिकल और इलेक्ट्रोमैकेनिकल इंटरफेरेंस ड्यूरिंग द इमेज एक्विजिशन the periodic noise reduction using frequency domain filter involves removing the particular range of frequencies from an image so we are removing a particular range of frequencies in an image using frequency domain filtering the band reject filters band pass filter and notch filters are used as a tool for periodic noise reduction or removal using frequency domain now first let us see the band reject filters the band reject filters attenuates a band of frequencies above the origin of the fourier transform so we can say the band reject filters removes a band of frequencies above the origin of fourier transform an ideal band reject filter can be given as h of u comma v is equal to 1 for d of u comma v less than d not minus omega by 2 h of u comma v will be equal to 0 for d of u comma v between d not minus omega by 2 and d not plus omega by 2 and it will be equal to 1 for d of u comma v greater than d not plus omega by 2 so the band reject filters are removing the frequency between d not minus omega by 2 and d not plus omega by 2 here the value is 0 and it is allowing the frequency above d not minus omega by 2 and d not plus omega by 2 here h of u comma v is the output of the filter and we can say d of u comma v is the region in original image so on this region we are performing the band reject operation using ideal filter to get h of u comma v so we can say d of u comma v is distance from the origin of the centered frequency band or generally you just remember d of u comma v as the region in an original image on which the filter operation is performed the filter operation is performed on this region to get h of u comma v which is the output of the filter here omega is the width of the band and d not is a radial center or we can call this as cut off frequency so these notations are common for all the formulas which we have written here similarly the butterworth band reject filter can be written as h of u comma v which is output of the filter is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus d of u comma v into omega divided by d square of u comma v minus d not square all to the power of 2n so here n represents the order of the filter so n is the order of the filter and a gaussian band reject filter can be given as h of u comma v is equal to 1 minus exponential to the power of minus 1 by 2 into d square of u comma v minus d not square divided by d of u comma v into omega the next type of filter is band pass filter a band pass filter performs the operation which is opposite to the band reject filter which means the band pass filter will allow the band of frequencies above the origin of fourier transform so we can say band pass filter pass the band of frequencies above the origin of fourier transform here hbp of u comma v is the transfer function of band pass filter this can be obtained from corresponding band reject filter with a transfer function hbr of u comma v as 1 minus hbr of u comma v since band pass filter performs the opposite operation of band reject filter will subtract the transfer function of band reject filter by 1 so if we subtract the transfer function of band reject filter by 1 we will get the transfer function for band pass filter you can see here we are having different transfer function for band reject filter 
if you subtract these transfer function from one you will get the formula for band pass filter the next type of filter is notch filter a notch filter passes the frequency in predefined neighborhood at the center of the frequency so we can say the notch filter will passes the predefined frequencies in the neighborhood of a center frequency the transfer function of the ideal notch reject filter of radius d not and centers at u not comma v not with symmetry at minus u not comma minus v not can be given as h of u comma v is equal to 0 for d not less than or equal to d1 of u comma v and d not less than or equal to d2 of u comma v and for other values it will be 1 so you can see here we are predefining the frequencies here so for this particular frequency the output will be 0 and for other values of the frequencies it will be 1 here we have written the formulas for d1 of u comma v and d2 of u comma v similarly we can write the butterworth notch reject filter of order of n so the order for the butterworth filter is n can be given as h of u comma v which is the output of the filter is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus d naught square divided by d1 of u comma v into d2 of u comma v whole to the power of n so here n represents the order of the butterworth filter and gaussian filter can be given as h of u comma v is equal to 1 minus exponential to the power of minus 1 by 2 into d1 of u comma v into d2 of u comma v divided by d naught square these three filters will become high pass filter if we make u naught and v naught as a zero so if you make u naught and v naught in this formula as zero these filters will become high pass filter the notch filter that passes the frequencies are given by hnp of u comma v is equal to 1 minus hnr of u comma v so here hnp is notch pass filter and here hnr is notch reject filter so this is about the periodic noise reduction using frequency domain filtering hope you have understood the topic thank you